until, until we get the camera here. Okay, secure. Go ahead. We're ready for it. Well, we're taking another short break here at Winterland. The Grateful Dead just completed their second of three sets. There's a picture of Chuck Berry who wrote that last song you heard, Around and Around. He played here at Winterland several years back. I'm Norm Weiner, and with Glenn Lambert, we've been here since, oh, since 9 o'clock last evening. Remember 1978, Glenn? Vaguely, Norm. Really, some time ago, wasn't it? Well, we've seen the Blues Brothers and a couple of sets by the dead. Quite an amazing machine that Ken Kesey had. It was quite amazing. It even um, exceeded his description of it, which I thought was pretty amazing when he was uh, here with us earlier. Or he was certainly with someone. Now, there was a concert the Rolling Stones and Stevie Wonder. You're looking at some of the. 72, was that? I think that was 72, yeah. You're looking at some of the decorations that uh, are stills. Be Remember the walls. stills? Be stills and. They were great. They played here at Winterland. Just about everybody played here at Winterland. We were looking at a list before 553 shows. Tonight is the 553rd and final show at Winterland. And it all began in 1966. Actually, it, it began in 1966 on, uh, let's see if we can find the fateful date here. Coming through my notes feverishly here. September uh, 23rd, September 23rd and 24th. The opening bill was the uh, Jefferson Airplane, the Butterfield Blues Band, and Muddy Waters. And the weekend after that, which I guess was October uh, 7th and or 8th, it was the Grateful Dead with the airplane, with the Butterfield Blues Band. And uh, well, we've had a number, we've heard a number of, uh, several numbers thrown around as to how many times the Dead actually. From uh, 44 all the way up to 52, I think, was the highest. 56, I think we got a bid for 56 somewhere. Then. But uh, you counted yourself six out of? Six out of 12 New Year's Eves here, Norm, at Winterland were the good old Grateful Dead. And I think that with the departure of Guy Lombardo that a good case could be made for the Grateful Dead's being perhaps the greatest New Year's Eve dance band now playing. Not now, of course, but they're going to be back very soon. We're in a break right now. In fact, the Grateful Dead are some of them in the same room with us, maybe in the same room with you, in your living rooms at home, if you live nearby. Could have a, a you have a pretty good view of the scene at Winterland, the light show atop the stage, great light show too, in the San Francisco Lightworks, who we talked to earlier on this evening. It's quite amazing too. I went up in back of the stage and I watched them work. They're running. Uh, they have about a dozen people up there who are operating slides and uh, that jelly-like globule-type mixture that uh, about three different people are doing, films and uh, all sorts of things going on up there with somebody. Uh, uh, while I was up there, it was John Brander we talked to before running the controls, and it's all computerized. He's just mixing it together the way a sound mixer or a light person would work a board. Hmm. A lot of the people in the light show are uh, out of different San Francisco dance band now playing. Not now, of course, but they're going to be back very soon. We're in a break right now. In fact, the Grateful Dead are some of them in the same room with us, maybe in the same room with you in your living rooms at home, you live nearby. Now here you could have a, a you have a pretty good view of the scene at Winterland, the light show atop the stage, great light show too, in the San Francisco Lightworks, who we talked to earlier on this evening. It's quite amazing too, I went up in back of the stage and I watched them work, they're running, uh, they have about a dozen people up there who are operating slides and uh, that jelly-like globule-type mixture that uh, about three different people are doing, films and uh, all sorts of things going on up there with somebody. Uh, uh, while I was up there, it was John Brand, who we talked to before, running the controls, and it's all computerized. He's just mixing it together the way a sound mixer or a light person would work a board. Hmm. 
a lot of the people in the light show are uh, out of different San Francisco light shows over the years who have uh, pooled their energies to put together uh, San Francisco light works. Well, I hope it's not uh, one last great light show. You know, more light shows, more rock and roll. I agree. It's hard to put on a light show in a very small club in places like Winterland or, uh, well, there's one fewer tonight. There's no more Winterland after tonight for rock concerts anyway. Again, we're live at Winterland. I guess a number of people have already gone out and done what they've planned to do for New Year's Eve and now are, uh, are home to bring the, uh, at least the first night of the New Year to a close. And they're flipping on their TVs and finding us, or at least finding their friends who are at Winterland. And this haunting tune in back of us, Norm. What is this here, Martin Denny that we're listening to? No, no, let me hear three notes. I can't recognize it, Glenn. Oh. I'm sorry. admiring some of the decor here at Winterland, put up especially for the occasion. For those of you who think you've tuned to the station that usually has the barometer and the temperature going by, that was Frank Zappa. <laughs> ah, the who. We're getting some ghosts on our set here, Norm. Or it could be some deadheads, I guess. Amazing costumes in the audience. Deadheads and conehead deadheads. People dressed in amazing ways. Lots of people with painted faces. Lots of people dancing here. Well, they did some free face painting here uh, earlier on today, earlier on this evening. Oh, too bad they didn't come backstage here and do us. They didn't? <laughs> Is my face red? Last Waltz featured the band that took place here several Thanksgivings ago. The film just came out this past year. That was certainly a memorable night at Winterland. And, and the last night that most people remember, that, which was really transformed into uh, a gala hall for the presentation of music. I'm sure many of our viewers, Glenn, remember uh, seeing a lot of these concerts. Some of them probably think they're seeing them right now, Norm. I remember that one. And we're back to Chuck Berry again. I think this is where I came in. Maybe I'll go out to the lobby and get some popcorn. You want a Coke or anything? All the posters, of course, that they couldn't put up, all of the uh, major artists that have come through here, played here making music history, and really putting the Bay Area on the map in terms of music and its role in uh, the history of rock and roll. That's what Winterland represents to so many of these people. And of course, you know, the Grateful Dead, there's nobody tied to the Bay Area music tradition as firmly as, as the Dead. Seen at Times Square, ladies and gentlemen. 
A great ball about to drop. a few minutes we're going to be showing you some scenes of Santana from those made just uh, just a few weeks ago really when they played Winterland for the last time and they'll be performing some of their more recent material stuff that you could hear on their latest album I just saw that tape recently Norm in fact it was earlier this evening quite good. Some of our viewers from Channel 32 might remember that. To be repeating that segment with Santana. Well, here's some Winterland trivia for you, Glenn. Do you know that when Winterland originally opened, in 1906, it was originally called Dreamland Auditorium? Well, Norm, I didn't know that, but I did know that for many years it was the home of the Ice Follies, of course, as well as many other sporting events. It still says on the uh, parking lot side of the building, home of the Ice Follies. And until the 1930s, the part that is now the balcony, I don't quite understand how this worked, was obscured by a big artificial iceberg. Yeah, people weren't allowed to sit in the balcony in those days, but until they, the iceberg melted finally and <laughs> well, I, uh, when uh, Herb Kane was on before, I asked him if he remembered the iceberg in the balcony, and he replied that he thought he married her. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. At any rate, instead of the iceberg, there's a balcony. It's full of deadheads. So is the floor. And they're all waiting for the dead to come back on and play another set. We could be here for days, so of somebody laid in provisions. I don't know if it's really fair for us to mention some of the people we've seen, some of the celebrities and, uh, you know, otherwise famous people who we've seen who haven't made it well, let's see, to Men the right side of our cameras. Menachem Begin, I think I saw across the room. Um, Tex Antoine was here earlier, I, I think it was him. Who have you seen, Norm? Well, I saw Bill Walton, hard to miss. Oh, as a matter of fact, I somehow missed him, but I did hear from a few people that Bill Walton was here. He, yes, of course, so is a famous deadhead. He's probably the tallest deadhead there is. That is possible. I think he stood in front of me at a few concerts, in fact. Bill Walton, uh, he was standing on the stage. I saw him standing on the stage somewhere. dead right now are taking a short break and uh, they will return shortly. They can't keep the people from dancing. As they said, they promised and around and around the music kept playing till the moon came down. What sign is the moon in, Norm? You got me, Glenn. stroke of midnight. I hope everybody uh, was able to see that clearly when all the balloons came toppling down from the ceiling, from the, the sacks that they'd been held in. And uh, the giant flying joint. How else could you describe it? But it, it was that. It was a giant flying joint. Mammoth flying joint. Mammoth. It was certainly mammoth. The middle was it. inside, dressed as Father Time. See, next year, Glenn, maybe we'll have, like, isolated uh, replay, instant replay or something. We'll be able to show New Year's Eve again, show it a few times. Well, I thought that Bill was safe at the stage. I thought that he, um, he definitely beat the throw. I think if we had the replay, that it would show that. It was very close, but I had a good vantage point on it. I was down on the floor. Well, actually, you were too. Maybe it was too close to call. But the umpires called it the way they did. And now it's 1979. Nothing we can do about it at this point. That's right. It's history now, Glenn. Kiss 1978 goodbye. 
I'm sure that many of our listeners and viewers are doing just that, Norm. Some of the people who sat in with the dead, Glenn, during that last set identified, and the, the harp player was Lee Oscar of War. Do you know the identity of that guitar player? In fact, I don't. Where I was sitting, I could not see him very well, unfortunately. Yeah, and I couldn't see the subtitles myself. It was sometimes a little hard to read on the small screen at home, Norm. But of course, the dead never do dubbing, we had to have subtitles, and I think that it uh, brings along the purity of their music that much better, bring it across to the people in the language in which it was intended. Our delegates waived the right of simultaneous translation about two hours ago. I think it was about when Ken Kesey was here. The translator just turned around, put on a funny hat, and walked away. There's a giant chamber upstairs uh, in, in the backstage area, a giant room where all of the uh, children and uh, peripheral children of the Grateful Dead entourage are being cared for. Norm, what are peripheral children? I'll tell you about it later, Glenn. Are they children who are kind of close to the edge? Is there a window up there? Can they watch the show from the kids' room? Uh, they might have a little TV or something. Here. One of those little record players with the pictures as it goes around. They might not need the pictures. They might. I'm sure they all have vivid imagination. Joys of childhood. Well, about 5,400 people are enjoying their childhoods tonight here at Winterland. Hey, it's a new year. We're starting all over again. It's a whole new ball game, folks. Just one swing of the big fella's bat. Change the standings all around. In just a minute, we're going to be watching some videotape of Santana performing three of their newer songs pretty recently, a few weeks ago, In here fact, at Winterland. Well, we should explain that you're going to see a title on your screen that says Live at Winterland. Don't believe it. Well, it's not Don't really it. live. It's it was pre-recorded for this time zone. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this has all been pre-recorded. Pre -recorded. See, I, I can't even say it. We're on delay tonight. So please turn your radios and televisions down when you call in and we put you on the air. Otherwise, it'll start repeating. And otherwise, it'll start repeating. So let's watch Santana. Take at Winterland. Just a, just a few weeks ago. At Winterland, just a few weeks ago. Short one. for the Grateful Dead to return to the stage. That taped musical interlude from Santana gave us something to tap our toes to. But the Dead are coming back for their third musical segment. And they should be getting back on the stage momentarily. In a moment. 
gentlemen, we'll be returning to our feature presentation, Night of the Living Dead. ready to begin playing again. Live from Winterland, it's The Grateful Dead. It's past a lot of people's bedtime, so although the dead are going to go on for a while, we're going to say goodnight to all of you. Thanks to everyone who's put this broadcast on. People from KSAN, KQED, Bill Graham's people in Winterland, and the Grateful Dead's people, and the Blues Brothers people, and lots of other people who've been here with us tonight.
Fish lady come to me, she lays on me this rug The animals fly around and around and tremble and explode He left the smoking crater of my mind, I like to blow it away Well the heat come round and buzzed me for a smiling on a cloudy day of the city
a dime for a cup of coffee I got no dime but I got some time to hear a
wander downtown Nowhere to go but just to hang around I got a girl Named Bonnie Lee I know that girl's been true to me I know she's been I'm sure she's been true to me
watch the morning sky Sunlight spread to us Done with answers Darkness shrugs and gets the day goodbye Speeding arrow Sharp and narrow What a lot of fleeting matters you have spurred Several seasons With their trees Wrap the babe in scarlet covers All in your own Come on, baby. Oh, squeeze me 
child Don't you want your daddy to be alright I see now baby Baby oh, It's for sure
and the Grateful Dead leave the stage one more time. But I have a feeling they're coming back. The Dead putting on a great show for the last night at Winterland. The set that just finished starting with Dark Star by the Dead. For the last couple of years, there have been people coming to Dead concerts in San Francisco and holding up their banner from the balcony that said how many days it was since the last Dark Star in San Francisco. And they had to wait 1,535 days, but they get to tear up their banner now. The Dead played a medley of a few old songs that they haven't played that much recently. And great ones. I think it'll be a couple of minutes before the day comes back. We're going to be here live from Winterland until the end. We're dug in pretty deep here at this point. How many of you are still out there? So raise your hands at home, wherever you are. Let us see that you're still there. Quite a few people are out there. In fact, quite a few of us are out there right now. The New Year's Eve simulcast was underwritten by Pacific Stereo and the Gap Stores and Bass Tickets, and we want to thank them very much for bringing a highly unusual show to your screen and to your ears.
And here they come to play again for another year. It's the Grateful Dead. Live from Winterland tonight. For the last time. One more time here at Winterland. Having a hard time getting Bob's guitar started.
thank you. This old place is closing up. And so let's give this old place a big round of applause because it's done us all a real Stick good thing. Big and happy fucking New Year. <laughs> That was Mickey, Mickey Hart on drums, Bill Kreutzman on drums, Phil Esch on bass, Donna Gacho vocals, Keith Gacho keyboards, Jerry Garcia on guitar, Bob Weir on guitar, The Grateful Dead, please. They are the greatest rock and roll band that ever was, the Grateful Dead. Good night. Good night. Good night. 
this wonderful love affair of ours in this building. You were the perfect audience, we want to thank you for it. you all went to, to be here, and I think that would be one of the greatest things in my life, what you went through to get here. So thank you for that. We want to take a minute, there's a bunch of people that have worked in this building for a long time, the Grateful Dead crew. Believe me, they made it all possible. One more time for the crews that put all this together. Let's put some music on, we'll just see what happens. You can stay as long as you like. 